What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I'm down in South Texas. If you watched the last video, you'll see that I'm with SoTex Outfitters. But uh, we got a little late start this morning, so uh, me and Brad are about to grab our bows, take off walking, uh, try to find some javelina, turkey, maybe a pig, and uh, see what we can find up. But beautiful morning, it's like 65 degrees, so we're gonna see what we can get done this morning and uh, and we still got this evening to hunt too. All right guys, the turkeys evaded us, but this is Pat with So Tex Outdoors. Outdoors. If y'all wanna come on a hunt here, he's got ginormous turkeys, a bunch of javelinas, a bunch of pigs. And you do deer as well, right? I do deer hunts also. Yes. So uh, his link will be in the description. Go check him out. And uh, we're gonna go in this bottom right now and look for some javelinas. Brad, we left Brad at the other spot, so hopefully one of us gets on something. like and then uh might give him some time depending on what the arrow looks like and then we'll go track him Mm -hmm. 
one, dude. Oh. God, we literally found a chunk of gut that big. I'm using these SWAT broadheads. I'm not a fan of mechanicals, never have been. They sent me some of these. I've shot a deer and Havelina with it so far. Both haven't gone further than 30 yards, 40 yards. So. This is my first Havelina with a bow. Heck yeah, dude. Here, hold my bow. I'm gonna crawl in there. Ow. Everything in South Texas wants to bite you, scratch you, or poke you. Oh, that wasn't a bad shot. I think he just quartered away whenever I shot him. Oh, look at that. Guys, look at that cut. That is insane. Look at those. Look at those fangs, man. That is crazy. These are some cool animals. Thank you, buddy. That is awesome. Heck yeah. All right, we're gonna take him back to the truck. Now we're gonna try to get Judd on one. Well, Judd just went and got the truck, so that happened so fast. This is our last evening here, and uh, we didn't get anything this morning with Pat. But uh, make sure y'all go check him out, show him some love. His link will be in the description. Sotex Outfitters, um, he's got Havelina, he's got some monster turkeys down here. We've, I checked his uh, game camera yesterday when he uh, sent us to one of his places and it was literally like 20 toms at all times of the day. So I'm super pumped, got this uh, Havelina. It's my first Havelina with a bow. So this is what I was talking about. Swap broadheads, this thing is dirty. I mean, that's that's the reason why we found a piece of gut. I don't know how it got gut. I mean, the shot's a lot better than I thought it was. It's right, maybe a little far back, but I would probably would have tried to aim right there. But it brought out the guts on the other side. I'm not gonna show y'all that because it, they're literally hanging out the other side, but this thing is bad to the bone. They do not sponsor me. Um, and I've never been a believer in mechanicals. I've always shot fixed blades, but uh, I'll leave their link in the description as well. Y'all go check them out if y'all uh, if y'all are lost on what to shoot as far as broadheads go. And the G5 Montex that I shot in Africa, y'all can go back and watch those videos. They were all perfect shots, and uh, I lost a couple animals with those. So I'm happy with these, and uh, I'm gonna finish out the year with these and uh, see how they perform. But I'm gonna load this thing up. I think Brad may have shot in a turkey. Um, so we're gonna load this Havelina up. We're gonna take it, clean it, go get Brad, see what he got. And then uh, we're doing a Havelina catch, clean, and cook. Do they have any glands or anything you need to worry about? Sitting glands right here. You should be able to. Right on the back right here. Oh, it's there. It looks kind of like the nipple. Woo! Look at that. Look at that, Brad. That's awful. Yeah, don't smell it too, but I touched it just now accidentally. So that's, that's a scent gland. So these are called collared pectoral, right? Collared, collared peccaries. Collared peccaries. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to clean this guy up and uh, we're just going to quarter him out. We got a four hour drive home tonight. And uh, unfortunately, Brad did not shoot anything tonight. I was going to keep all updated on that, but he didn't get anything, so. All right, guys, got the Havelina cleaned up, all quartered up. Now we just got to take the feet off. And uh, here's the two back straps. 
nice little back straps. They're not, not much to them, but Pat was saying to make sausage out of them. So we'll try uh, one quarter on the smoker and make the rest in the sausage because I want to see what it tastes like in its natural form. So basically, that's what you get out of a 25, 30 pound javelina going in the cooler. And we headed to the house. Big thanks to Pat with uh, Sotex Outfitters. Make sure y'all get down. Link will be in the description. Go check them out. If y'all wanna come do a South Texas hunt, he's the man to go to. All right, guys, I am back at the house. It's actually been a few days. Um, I, whenever I got home, I had that uh, javelina meat sitting in the, in the cooler. So I went ahead and just diced it all up um, off of the back quarters and the uh, tenderloin. So what I'm gonna do, since they're down in mesquite country, I'm gonna take some Texana brands, mesquite infused olive oil, and we will drizzle that in this pan. And uh, I got some red beans and rice cooking right here. I'm gonna season these up with a little bit of critter glitter. Not too much. I really wanna see how this stuff tastes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dump this meat in here. That olive oil smells amazing. Hand's not quite hot yet, but we'll let that cook down, render down, and then uh, I want to see how this tabalina tastes. He said it's super, super, super chewy. So we'll find out. He said turn it into sausage, that's the best way to eat it. But got red beans and rice cooking, got some javelina cooking, and we're gonna mix them together when the javelina's done. And uh, now I'm gonna make some salsa. All right, easiest salsa recipe in the world. I got this little salsa maker at one of those hunting expos, and it's super easy, but I'm missing the best ingredient, which is cilantro. So all you need, onion, tomato, lime, jalapeno, or whatever pepper you want to use, and then uh, cilantro is super good in it. So you just chop the onion up, that. Throw that in there. Cut your tomato up. Just like that. And then got this little baby jalapeno that my buddy gave me. He said the small ones are hot. So Throw that little jalapeno in there. Now all you need some garlic salt. I like to put a lot of garlic salt in this. Just like that. Take your little dilly. Tomato and onion salsa, basically, because we don't have any cilantro. But uh, let's see how she tastes. Mm. Add some fresh lime juice. Now, you got some awesome homemade salsa. All right, this looks amazing. I don't know how it's gonna be, I just went into the fridge and found what I could, so I'm just gonna try and see how this works out, but got a biscuit, broke it in half. Take some red beans and rice, dump it on top. It's like biscuits and gravy, but rice and javelina. Take some javelina. It looks good. See how chewy it is. Just like that. That looks awesome. So let's try just the javelina first, see what it tastes like.
That piece wasn't that chewy. I mean, it's chewy, but it's not like, it's not like what I was expecting, I guess. All right, let's go for a little bit of everything. Biscuit, red beans and rice, and uh, javelina. That is good. But it is, it is chewy. I mean, it's not like, uh, I don't know. It's not super chewy, but it is pretty chewy. I definitely eat it again. So I'm gonna rate this javelina um, to pigs that I've had, because I've, I, I can't remember if I've eaten javelina or not. Maybe in sausage or chorizo or something, but I'm gonna give it like a 6.8. It's not the best. I wouldn't choose it over a wild hog, and I definitely wouldn't choose it over like a farm pig, but uh, it's not bad. I definitely eat it again. Um, the next one I shoot, I'm gonna get made into sausage or chorizo. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, leave it in the comments if y'all wanna see some more South Texas hunts. Be sure to go check out Sotex Outfitters. Um, they're awesome guys, and they can put you on some javelinas. So, uh, till next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.